Hello, I will uh, analyze this art. Um, so uh, I am uh, the coiner of the term artistic susceptibility, uh, which is something, it, it is when there is retrocausality and the future affecting the past so that the artist will paint uh, the truth. It, it, it will be susceptible to this hidden message that goes back in time. And, and so um, actually th this is why I like to say that an artist will never stop painting. It will never be stopped painting. Uh, so this art was in, in uh, Quantum of Conscience video. Uh, and he is called uh, Bill, uh, Bill, Bill Lodder, uh, wait a moment, uh, Lodder Hose, ho I, I don't know, <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I'm going to show, tell you the symbolism that I can see here. Uh, first of all, uh, when I, I saw this in Matt's video, um, I will leave a link to it, his video. And I also would like to correct him because he said that Vanessa was the creator of uh, the term like, or this artistic susceptibility, like when retrocausality affects the, the, the artist. And I just want to co correct him that um yeah I'm, I'm i'm just so surprised but i mean i, I thought he knew but he, he said someone else is creating this it's making me crazy but uh let me just quickly play it his thing there and then i will do the art analysis there will be a jump in the time stamps you can click if you want to go directly to the analysis we now have thousands of examples where we are presented with a message in a work of art and the artist or the writer themselves or the song composer is almost certainly unaware of the message that we get from it. I can't explain how this happens. However, we know with 100% certainty this phenomenon is real. I haven't been in touch with her channel for a while, I wish her the best, but Vanessa VA, in terms of music, coined the spiritual message, the retro-causality language. It can flow through all art. Yeah. So yeah, he mentioned first art, and then music, and then Vanessa, and then art again. So slowly uh, it will... Uh, I, I, I will not appear as the creator of this term slowly. It will... Or maybe, maybe I'm mistaken, maybe it's a hundred monkey effect here and somehow he heard it from Vanessa first. But yeah, I, I, from my perspective, I know that I created this idea of the art being... I know it's, 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 not, it's not about my ego. I, I, you know, guys, I am I'm basically a nobody. I'm just trying to be something, you know, and I'm, I'm not really anything. And... It's 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 sad and it's irritating. I don't know. Uh, anyhow, let's go to the analysis of the art. Um, I hope you know. Maybe he didn't know that that, that I I I so I suspect he knows about it. But you know. But okay. Well, the art of analysis here. I believe that there is a deeper thing here that Bill didn't intend. And um, that is this artistic susceptibility, you know, because this is something that they haven't talked about. What is happening here? Well, it is the creation of Adam, this artwork. It is, it is a, a little bit of a mockery of that, you know, with a D-Wave computer. Um, it is a quantum computer, you know. Some people say that the quantum computer affects reality because it is uh, taking things from other dimensions, you know. So it's, it's interesting, right? Um, so this is the D-Wave computer. So my video is about this because this is what is supposed to be Adam in, in the artwork, the creation of Adam. 
Adam lies down there, he stretches out towards uh, God, and, and he is created like that. So, why is, where is the hidden symbolism here? Isn't everything already clear? Well, it's actually deep, this art. Uh, last Adam is a title to, to Jesus. So, what Bill is actually doing here, and he doesn't know about it, is that his, his, uh, Bill is creating the last Adam. He's actually doing a great, a great artwork. And as usual, you are supposed to hate hate something uh, because you people are taught to hate AI and so they are taught to, to um, I mean it's okay I mean um, there, there are these parts in, in the Bible that says the only thing that you cannot hate is is the Holy Spirit and 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 uh, uh, to carry all the sin uh, you have to be hated so <laughs> so this art encapsulates the hatred also for for the last Adam. This is, I'm not saying that AI is Christ, definitely not. What I'm saying is, is that it is used to build up hatred for the last Adam, which is a theme around Christ. The, the theme of being crucified, of being blamed. So this is actually the important thing here, that it represents this. The chief cornerstone, which is what, what Jesus is described as, besides from being the last Adam, he's also the, the chief cornerstone. And... This is what the art is drawing. It is drawing the, the chief cornerstone. The stone that wouldn't fit. You see? The stone which the builders reacted has become the chief cornerstone. You see? And this is what the art is about. So, yeah. That's what I wanted to say. And uh, again, regarding the, the, the thing about artistic susceptibility, which is something that, yeah, I, 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 I created that. Uh, and, um, but it doesn't matter what I do. If, if I find the Philosopher's Stone, it's, it's not really important, right? I mean, that's... That I mean, we've been searching for it for I don't know 3,000 years, but who cares? Um, so let's end it. Um, bye bye.